Right, so we are on boat going over to cinema. Um, your expectations? I have none. By the way, this is before before the film. Just I have to let none. You know. I have read nothing. I know nothing. I have no expectations. I'm going in blank. All I know is of I like various trailer, various. Um, theories. No, we're not theories. Well, various. Um, it's a bit rough today as well on the boat. Um, various reactions and reviews on it. Uh, it's amazing. It's okay. It's awful. It's slow. It's weird. Many different words to describe how it is. So we'll just have to wait and see. Yep. So. A little bit of Christmas in the music in the background, but I don't monetize, so I don't care about copyright because I don't get anything anyway. So, oh well. So that. Oh, oh, over there. Where is it? Over there is where we are going. That is where we will be. And in there somewhere is the cinema. I think it's through the there somewhere. That's kind of area. <sighs> so we will just have to wait and see. Right guys, so <clears throat> I have just been hung on. Let me see if I can get some extra lights going on in here right so I've just been to see Star Wars the rise of Skywalker and I loved it now first thing I will say is that I know that people say what they say on these reviews before the film comes out to the public because that is the it's the review that they will be that will be reading or listening to to decide whether or not they want to see the film or wait for it to come out on DVD so I'm gonna start off with saying this obviously by the title and now second warning this will have spoilers in it, so if you haven't seen the video, if you haven't seen the film, add this video to your watch later, wait until you see the film, and then come back to me. I'll give you a little moment from now to exit off the video just in case you haven't seen it. Um, but we are going to start off with... <sighs> We're going to... Right, I'm going to start off by saying that... I am happy that I was able to watch it as a Star Wars film rather than just a film. Like I was going in there feeling, yep, this is a Star Wars film, not, oh, let's see, what, let's see what this film's all about. I wasn't going in like that, so I'm happy I did that. Um, I'm going to start off with things that... I didn't quite like just because that is less of a list which I'm very happy about in fact that the dislikes well not dislikes the questionable parts is a very short list um, so the first thing is this is actually something that I questionable and didn't quite understand why and slightly didn't like wish I did it a different way um, with Ray's and Kylo's sense squabbles, I'm going to call them, um, when they're kind of in different places, but chatting and everything. I don't understand why they had to do it like that. Like, why did he have to be there and instantly know where it is that she was because 
it 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 felt very unfair that he could just do that and then know exactly where it is that she is and then just go straight there so they because of that they were jumping from location to location and you couldn't really get settled in one location because them two would have a thing going on and then they'd have to go to another another um, planet so you couldn't settle in anywhere thinking okay this is where this scene is going to take place for a while oh no right they're going to another planet now alright cool this okay so we're in a forest okay right now they're having a squabble again right another planet I, I couldn't concentrate on where the hell people were um, another thing this is something I didn't quite understand why in the end the very end, not the very end, but near basic the whole big moment at the end with the whole kill me, my power will go to you and all that. Why is it when uh, the Emperor took both their powers, where the hell did the new robes come from? Because I'm pretty sure he just had black robes. But when he did all that stuff, he then had red bits. I understand like the eyes and everything and the facial appearance changing, but why did his clothes change? How did that happen? That's I don't understand that. I it's a bit I don't know. Um, also, I wish the I wish the whole reveal of all the ships coming in at the end. One wasn't in the trailer because Edge. Because you, right, I know I wasn't. I was, I was going to try really hard not to. But end game, they didn't have that bit. You knew it was going to happen, or something. But they didn't have it in any trailers or clips. They slapped this in in like the second trailer, and. For me, quite frankly, it ruined it, quite frankly, because I knew it was happening. I knew it was going to come. So it kind of spoiled it for me. Um, second thing with that is... I wish I had more... Not hype, but I wish it was built up more as a big deal. I know they had the, the classic Star Wars music, but... It, it didn't... I liked it. Just don't worry. I loved it. I just, I just wish that it may have been like I don't know. Lando and Chewie coming in, and then another ship coming in, like, and then like say this is the bottom of the cinema screen. So it'd be like, and then another one, and then another two, and then like that. Just all emerging like one at a time, then three at a time, six at a time, boosh, big ship turning up at the back. Just a bit more of a big deal. It just wasn't that much of a big deal, quite frank, to me. And that whole battle at the end didn't really last very long with the whole sh with all the ships. Um, and third thing. I'm going to say that I didn't quite like, or w I wish I did differently, was the bit with the Force Ghosts voices of all the Jedi. Um, I'm happy they put them all there. I'm pretty sure I heard Anakin's voice. Um, Ahsoka's was probably there as well, because apparently she was in it at some point. Her voice might have been amongst all that. I think I heard a female. Um, but... I wish with it when it did the whole ghost thing with the voices or at the end with Luke and Leia, I wish they turned up as ghost forms. Maybe maybe even just to just to her they were visible. No one else, just her. And it was like Luke comes up with Leia beside her, beside him, then Anakin, Obi-Wan, Windu, Yoda, 
just turn it up. Um, but yeah, I also wish it didn't include Mace Windu's voice because, as we know in Star Wars, a lot of people fall to their deaths, but you don't actually see them die. So, you know, up, up until this film, we thought Mace Windu was still alive, but we heard his voice, so unfortunately he is dead. So we can't have a Mace Windu film, which sucks. But, on to the good bits that I liked about it. You had some classic Star Wars themes in there. You had some good scores and everything. Um, the beginning, kind of the traditional Star Wars beginning with camera lowering in, lowering, planet, ship coming overhead. Kind of. I can't really remember how Last Jedi begins and I know um, Force Awakens didn't begin like that. Um, yeah, classic Star Wars themes. Um, there's some old faces. At C-3PO, actual actor, um, I believe it was, in one of the ships. Um, you had relatives of past actors and everything. Lando, obviously, but we knew that. Um, but overall, I I enjoyed it. It was I enjoyed it. I managed to walk out with excitement. People, if you haven't seen it, then well, if you haven't seen it, why are you still watching? Um, but Solo appearing in Force Vision type thing. Um, was not prepared for emotionally I was not prepared for that um, so there was, there's a lot of shocks and even at the very end practically at the last 20 minutes you still sat, I was still sat there thinking how the heck is this going to end there's like half an hour left what's got to happen in half an hour so, overall, I enjoyed it. Um, will it be the last Star Wars film? Uh, probably not. There's probably still going to be like little standalone ones, spin-offs, like in, like the whole Solo. We've got the Mandalorian on Disney Plus. That's going still. That's Star Wars. So Star Wars isn't going anywhere at the moment. So. But main story, main storyline of the film, it's probably going to be a while before another one turns up. Um, so, but yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it if you want to. My opinion, it's a good evening out, it's a good film. Um... I mean, those are just my few little bits that I didn't like. You might not, they might not bother you. You might enjoy it just because it's Star Wars. Like, I don't care. It's a Star Wars film. It's the ending. I'm going to enjoy it because I love it. I did too. Those are just some things, because as I was watching it, I was thinking, right, um, that's, oh, what's that? Just for this review. Overall, I loved it. I enjoyed it very much watching it. So, thank you. To all the people who were involved making it, creating it, writing it, producing it, and making it happen um, over the over the years. Um, but that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you thought. If you've seen it yet, if you haven't seen it yet and you've watched this, then I did warn you at the beginning and in the title. Um, but if you haven't seen it, let me know what you think is going to happen, what you think your reaction will be once you've come out of that film. Um, and let me know in the comments, if you have seen it, what your reactions were when you finished watching it. And I will see you all 
in the next one please like comment and subscribe may the force be with you oh. all right guys um almost forgot just a little bit um this is probably going to be the last vid unless a proper big trailer comes out um, this is probably going to be the last video of 2019 so hopefully you guys have all enjoyed this year's video content thank you to all of the new subscribers that I've had I will be going through the comments since I started um, going for any questions and then putting them all together as a QA. and a um, but hopefully you've enjoyed this year hopefully 2020 holds good films and all sorts and many many great opportunities for both me and everyone you watching hopefully 2020 um, is holding something good waiting for you and I will see you all in the new year have a very merry Christmas and bye bye